A cone-shaped water tank has a volume of a thousand liters. Which diagram best represents the 250, 500, and 750 marks outside the water tank? So let's take a look at choice A. I see there's 250 milliliters here, and then we have 500 mils here. And this is possible because even though the distance between here and here is quite long compared to here and here, the fact that this cone shape is, is starting skinny here and getting wider and wider makes it such that even though we have less distance here, the wideness is compensating for, for that. So therefore, it could be possible that here the volume here is the same as the volume here, but we're not quite sure. As we're, as we're adding another 250 mils, we can see that this the distance between 500 and 750 is a bit smaller than the distance between here and here, and that kind of makes sense because we're getting wider. So this is possible. I'm just going to put a little squiggly here. What about choice B? Choice B, we have a certain distance here, we have a small distance here, and, we're, and this distance here is getting bigger. Now because we're going the same increments, 250 to 500, which is essentially we're adding 250, we're adding 250 again, it doesn't make sense that we're, the distance between here and then here is getting bigger uh, since, uh, because we're getting wider over here. So choice B is incorrect. Choice C, if this here is 250 mils, there's no way that this part and this part has the same volume. This is way too high. And the same goes here. This, if this here is 250, this could not possibly be 250 because we're getting wider and taller. So the only possible answer here is A.